And now I found a VHS tape with uh, Macrovision uh, copy protection on it. So um, I uh, brought the vertical interval up on the screen so you can see what that looks like. Um, see those uh, white boxes there. Um, just uh, keep an eye on those for a while. I don't know if that white bar on the right does anything. I'm not sure if every tape with Macrovision has that. Uh, uh, this tape is not closed captioned. If it uh, was, you would uh, still see the captions right there, little uh, uh, flickering lines. And uh, see when those white boxes uh, went to black like that, uh, that meant if you were copying this onto another VCR, the uh, picture would be normal. When it's doing that, uh, your the uh, signal going to the VCR would uh, be flashing light to dark in that pattern. Uh, quite annoying. Uh, and if uh, you were playing your copied tape on an older TV with an RF input, it would most likely make the picture roll also. Uh, so I'll just let you watch that for a while. And, uh, eventually it'll go back to either uh, an undistorted picture or uh, Possibly a darkened picture again if they go all white. Let's just see what they do. Okay, yeah, so when they went to black, uh, if you were copying this tape, you would get a decent picture then. And then as they fade up to white again, uh, your uh, copy would be going dark and possibly again making an older TV roll the picture. Uh, this is, uh, I. Don't know enough to really uh, know how it works, except there's something called an automatic gain control circuit that uh, I guess it samples that uh, the first uh, line of the picture like that to set the uh, video levels. And uh, when uh, this is on it, it basically confuses it and uh, makes it go nuts. And there's a, I don't know if you can see this on the camera, but even though this is on my LCD TV, which, uh, was made just a couple of years ago, I noticed uh, there's a little bit of uh, jittering. Well, that's probably being caused by this also. It doesn't look too bad when I have the picture centered and it uh, cleans up considerably when I uh, go back and turn my AV receivers uh, processing on and go through the HDMI input. But uh, yeah, I do have to say Macrovision was uh, well, it, it just plain sucked because it really did uh, cause a lot of problems for legitimate viewers. And uh, there was a box you could buy, miraculously, that would uh, still allow you to copy these tapes. Uh, and I happened to look at one of those on an old TV, and what it does is essentially uh, insert uh, black boxes into where those flashing white boxes are, so that basically undoes the effect. And... Uh, one more interesting thing, uh, DVDs have had this also, except, uh, let me just turn the sound on this thing down because you don't need to hear that. Um, on uh, DVD players with uh, standard video outputs, uh, they uh, had their own kind of macrovision where uh, uh, it would uh, make the, basically there was no vertical interval on the DVD itself, but the, the uh, player would make one. And if uh, you could flag a disc to turn on a uh, player's internal macrovision system, which uh, would still uh, make it harder to record a DVD onto a, a VHS tape. And it would uh, just uh, put its own boxes like that too. And uh, they also, uh, uh, did a similar thing for closed captions. I don't really get how that worked, but uh, uh, you, the, you can put regular analog uh, closed captions on a DVD and even on a Blu-ray disc. And if you're running a 480i uh, analog video connection, you'll get uh, closed captions that way. And I'll just let these boxes flash for a little while longer and I'll end this and uh, if I find any more cool stuff later, I will put that up. But right now, I want to sit down and actually watch something.